Another effect of digitalization with very profound effects is known as mass customization. And that is something that many people are still really confused with. It has shaken up industries and many entrepreneurs are still confused about it. Policymakers still don't understand how profound it actually changed the structure of the economy. So, so, so what is that all about? Well, traditionally, if you traditionally, if you take an MBA, you study business administration or basic economics, what they can say is, what they tell you is, basically, if you want to have a company, you have to decide, do you want to have cost leadership or do you want to differentiate your services? So, for example, you have one product that's the same, but it's very cheap. So you just sell your soda, you just sell it for 10 cents. It's so cheap, but it's just like one soda, one size fits all, and then you can produce lots of it. You take advantage of economies of scale and so forth. Or you provide individualized services, so individualization. So you are a barkeeper who mixes the perfect soda drink just for you and knows exactly how you like your cappuccino, and, uh, but then it's much more expensive. But people could still go there because they say, well, it differentiates itself in the services. So more expensive, but customized individualized services or cheaper and for the masses, but then you cannot customize the service because if all you can do is one size fits all. And this is still very ingrained in many policymakers, many entrepreneurs, companies as well. Digitalization, now interestingly enough, allows you to obtain individualization through scale. That means the bigger you are, the more individualized services you can provide and the better individualized services you can provide. It kind of like breaks with this parrot with the previous dichotomy completely. So for example, if you're a big company like Amazon, like Netflix and so forth, the more customers you have, you can really understand what the usage patterns are. So you buy these kind of products, then these people who buy these kind of products also are likely to buy that kind of product. So these companies then make you individualized services, individualized recommendations and offer individualized services based on insights that they gain for analyzing a very huge customer base. And the bigger the companies are, the more data they have, the more individualized recommendations they can make. So if you really want individualized services in the digital age, you go to a huge company and that breaks with the previous paradigm. Sometimes these individualization recommendations, they don't really work yet. For example, uh, here you find that if, if in Amazon at that point, you look for aluminum baseball bed, what you were offered as well is a mask and pepper spray and some gloves. So uh, you might imagine where that comes from, was the pattern that the algorithms detected here, but you might not really, you might be a little bit shocked about these kind of recommendations. So this is the idea of creating individualization through scale. Now, the other way around, you can also create scale through individualization. That means because you offer individualized products, you have the choice to become a very big company that can be bottom up, for example, through modularization of, of products. So you have a learning relationship with your customers, you learn about this customer. And the more you learn about your customer, the better they like you. And, and you don't have to have many, many different customers. The difference to previously is you don't get the patterns from many different customers. You just learn a lot about this customer over time. And the more you know about this customer, the, the more the customer will stick with your services. And with that, then you create a, a stable customer base and you can create scale because you do individualize. And since these learning relationships are algorithmified, algorithms do that, you can now serve a very big, uh, a, a very big client base, for example. The previous example of the of the cocktail shaker or the coffee maker who knows exactly how you like your cappuccino. Now, if you have a company that exactly knows how you like your cappuccino, this company could set up coffee machines all over the world and you just go in with your credit card and the company already knows you. And with that makes you your cappuccino exactly like you want it. And this company could become a huge company all over the world. How did it become so huge? Well, through individualization and scaling of this individualization, which would be impossible if you do it offline with making the coffee with your hands, but algorithms can do that. You can also top down scale, that's what they call versioning. So you can have a tailor-made newspaper or, or phone apps, for example.
So for example, a newspaper. Traditionally, you would have to buy the entire newspaper, paper-based newspaper, with all kinds of sections, sports and business and so forth. But let's say you're not interested in the business section, you never had a look at it. And nowadays, in digital newspapers, you can just buy the one article that you like. You can also sometimes just buy it for a certain amount of time and get it even cheaper. Sometimes you really buy it to download it. And this is, in order to make money with that, the newspaper also has to be very big because they need a lot of users to use different kind of articles. But the bigger they are, the more they can offer version, different versions of their product to consumers. And they can clearly outcompete a small company that is kind of like forced to sell you the entire newspaper because if you just want to buy they wouldn't survive so again individualized versions of products go hand in hand with huge companies and that's the idea of mass customization you customize the products and the services because of being offering mass products or because of customized services you become a mass product producing company, mass customization. And that breaks with the paradigm that is still very ingrained into people, the paradigm that either you have a mass product or you have differentiated individualized services.